Hey, what's up my friends? Um, I know I was gonna give you an update on the little pup and let you know on what's going on. He's right here. He's with his new friend. The cat is giving his his new buddy a ass whooping. Yeah, uh, so he is a rehome rescue. Uh, what that means is basically my friend took him in after somebody said they don't want him but his dog would not let it have it i don't know he's uh he's got an american bulldog about eight years old and uh he did not took well to the pup <laughs> meanwhile the pup got himself a ear infection a double ear infection and in whatever yeah and whatever they did to his ears it took infection and after doing his uh, you know diagnostics check we also learned dude has worms, like serious or uh, whatever. So he's on five day worm uh, deworming regimen. And uh, we're also probably gonna have to deworm our pets. <laughs> so there it is, a rescue for you. Full of surprises, you know. Um, well, I knew about, you know, his condition was somewhat uh, questionable because he was a runt. Meaning he not only was the smallest, hey, shh, not the smallest, not just the smallest, but also kind of underdeveloped. Now we've learning that, yeah, he's got some, he's got some issues, some health issues that are not necessarily from him just being run, but maybe from the, um, you know, poor handling of him. Wow, he just got his ears cut and lost his parents, yada, yada. He's about a month behind in development. <laughs> He's uh, 13 weeks old, and he's the size of an eight, nine month, uh, nine week old. So he's a runt for sure, but we'll try to give him a good home and see if he can come around. All right, oh man, I should have probably. <laughs> anyway, so there it is, my friends, our new addition. Hi, Czar. Yeah, we named him Czar, but I know you heard the panting in the background, so that's it. That's this guy, he's uh, observing, watching. He's been pretty good with the little guy, but uh, I think he did not appreciate the smell of the can uh, candle from the bat's ah. office. So they're sort of like reacclimating again. It's strange, the cat doesn't mind, but Zulu definitely doesn't like the scent, the new scent. <laughs> all right so as i said before um he's got some new friends and he's uh he's really happy to be home now i'm just hopeful hoping that this is it this is the extent of his you know special needs <laughs> uh inner ear infection i don't know if they had to i mean we had to yeah, we had to readjust or whatever that the vet had to clean up the ears and retape them. I'm not really sure what that involves, other than what we're seeing right now, just like white tape and stuff. But he he's been itching at his ears, so obviously that's must be you know bothering him. Uh, at this point, just uh, time to heal. <laughs> hi, 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 Zar. Hi, little buddy. How you doing? <laughs> and yeah, there's the rest of the gang. <laughs> so yeah, there it is, my friends. A quick update on our little a new addition. Uh, little guy is happy to be home. He had to take some uh, proper care, veterinary care first before you know he really stays with us in the pack. Now he's got to deal with a five day dewarming regiment. And uh, just heal up from his, from the infection and whatever he's battling right now. I think he's also had some diarrhea. So <clears throat> hopefully he'll be better. Good as new now. I, I think the pack has acclimated him quite well. He seems to be happy to be here with us and uh, we are happy to have him. Now we're gonna put him on raw and turn him into a machine.
Sorry. <laughs> Quick update on the juveniles. They're doing fine, doing great. Enjoying their nice new clean habitat. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Oh, the adults are kicking up the storm. As you can see, they, they're really working hard on building nests and stuff. I think uh, the males are fighting over the girls. So that's pretty much what's been going on. The water went from crystal clear just this morning to kind of cloudy now. As like I said, they are kicking up a lot of, you know, sand, building their their nests, their wells. So we will just leave them, let, let them be. <laughs> and then we have the Caribe. Sorry for the glare. Caribe are doing great. You know, someone might have mentioned that they're not growing. Uh, you know, I'm not in a race to get the fish as big as they can get. Obviously, you know, uh, the water changes frequency will dictate the amount of hormone in the water and therefore the growth rate of the fish. They're being fed well, otherwise they would have ate each other. But there's just simply no reason for them to really get that big. They're about five inches now and they're doing just fine. So, anyway, Kariba are hanging out in the pack. Oh, sunfish still here. Just hiding out. Let me see if I can find him. Oh, there he is. Sunfish is hanging out right there in this little cave. <laughs> so, that's what's up. Uh, down here, everything is as usual so that's what's going on um everything down here is as good as it should be as usual everything's solid um uh, some feeding videos coming up so stay tuned otherwise otherwise my friends just uh stay tuned yeah um i'll be seeing you on the next one uh for those of you they are new here my name is malek everyone calls me bear or bear ski and this is my channel about a uh, most natural approach to keeping animals, whether they're predatory or not, you gotta do the, the best by them. Uh, therefore, today's video was a little bit more on the, uh, you know, animal care than specifically about piranhas, but I really appreciate you uh, sticking out and listening. And if you have any questions, leave comments below or any other way you would like to find some information you can also visit www.bearskimethod.com. There's a lot in there that is more on the natural or raw feeding that I will be implementing into the new pups uh, lifestyle. Um, if you want to know more or follow along, please check me out on Instagram. I usually put a little bit more about the raw feeding and the dogs and cats on Instagram that I do on uh, this channel simply because it is... This is more of a, or it started off as a piranha or aquatic kind of adventure. But yeah, it is the Bearski method. So my method, my techniques, my approach is basically the most natural that you can possibly, you know, duplicate or um, come up with. Um, <laughs> I see the little guy is scavenging for food. So he's hungry. I am supposed to really doze his, you know, um, feedings right now because He's, you know, under this uh, deworming and whatever else. He's a thirsty little mug. But yeah, I'll keep it close eye on him. I will document it in anybody that's interested in learning more or yourself trying out putting your pet, your dog or cat on a raw feeding. Like I said, reach out. Instagram, on the website or here on this channel. So till next time, my friends. <laughs>